Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra Space Immediately Dead Cells without even stopping to think it's a good idea. Um, the... <laughs> my recording hotkey involves the control key, which in Dead Cells just immediately rolls, and therefore every time I start recording I just roll, and therefore when I start recording I immediately roll through the door that you saw me standing in front of at the end of the previous episode. Ah, uh, that was not good. I do that. I like this bow, which means we can probably replace either the bow or the sword, which I currently like better, with something else. We died to an insufferable enemy, which is literally the name of it, I have decided, not uh, the, whatever it said. It is an insufferable enemy in an insufferable place, we go. Um, which I've never fought before. So. Well done me for getting there, I guess. Oh, I don't really care about Twin Daggers, even though they might be a bit better. Um, we're good. just going to have to keep getting there and keep practicing it. Obviously, the, the better we get and the better equipment that we unlock, the better chance we'll have when we get there. I think this is going to be a brutality run and you can't stop me, because I've been trying new things, and every now and then you need a sort of a refresher. Mind you, that was a... Very lucky run in that we did discover on I think the first floor. So remember we were using the same weapon that we found on the first floor, um, uh, a blood sword that was colourless and uh, legendary, or it had the legendary style to it. In as, which is to say, mm, see another scroll. Let's go for scrolls. Um, it had several modifiers on it and was amazing, so uh, that's just, it's difficult to argue with, to be honest. I think we're done on this floor. I want to buy anything, let's see if we can buy it, just pause. Uh, I think different skills would have helped against that boss, actually, now I think about it. The, uh, the insufferable crit boss, because the only skills that we had involved it being right up on the floor. Which it wasn't, it was an air type boss. So maybe a barnacle, if we're going into that place, would be a better idea. I know there's money. <laughs> I'm not into that. So, excuse me. We have a good bow, and currently a good sword. So we probably want to put ourselves into something we don't want yet. Which is a good idea. Crits. Shots explode into a toxic cloud. Ammo plus three. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I think the toxic cloud is good, but explode is good too, so there you go. I'm not going to do that because we're not really going to use that one as much, I think. And then we've got probably just the usual suspects until I've got a new play style. I, I did. Oh yeah, I took one hit right at the start because I was talking and not playing. Pay attention. So I don't know if we're really in a... I don't know if my brain's in the right position for a toxic sewers run, but let's do it. See what we end up with. We want to go through here. And collect all this. So I'm just going to put it straight up in brutality until I can think of something better, because we've got a grenade as well. In fact, this might be an opportunity... Uh, I was going to say it might be an opportunity to start using just grenades and get all of our uh, brutality mutations going on. But... I'm wondering if the infantry bow is actually better used with a shield, or rather, if you're going to use a bow with a shield, it's better off being the infantry bow, because you've got ranged and essentially melee damage at the same time in one bow, because your crits are that good from close range. Well, the crits are from close range, and they're that good that you can just basically rely on them. Mind you, I do like stabbing things from behind. It is my playstyle after being an ice mage is also to I want to know how to get down there. Is also to just stab things from behind. So I'm either a mage or a rogue. And in all cases, it basically involves attacking the enemy when they can't attack me. So <laughs> guess you know everything you need to know about me then. Can I get up here? No. That's another thing. We need to unlock further mutations, further uh, runes so that we can do further things. Not only to reach new places, but to reach better equipment in the places that we already can reach. 
So uh, this is going to be one of those runs where I just hit everything and it dies. And then at some point I'm going to be going, why are the things I'm not hitting? Why are the things I'm hitting not dying fast enough? And it's because I got used to, you know, weaker enemies with um, less HP and less going for them. Oh, I managed to roll through that one. And then I try and kill a boss and this is bad. They were all everywhere I needed to be. Uh oh. Yes, he's done it. What a legend. Getting better at that. Projectile damage is reduced. I'm happy with uh, that. Managed to remember to use my actual skills as well. Did you see that? Down. So, uh, this is probably one of those builds where we get through all the levels relatively easily, although having said that, I am making some silly mistakes. And then we get completely owned by a boss because we didn't think it through when we started it. That was the correct time to use an ice grenade, which I forget how good they are uh, until I come to use them and go, oh yeah, ice grenades are splendid. Tremendous. I'm nice and quick right now, which is actually... It's very moralizing. Does that work? Probably. Not in the sit on my face sense, but in the it's making me feel more. It's, it's so satisfying. Oh, I'm slowed down again. You know, it, it makes you feel like your actions are that much more responsive because everything that you do is being responded to, basically. I'm not, not interested in you. Do I like a crusher more than anything I currently have? Ow. Didn't realise I wasn't actually hitting you. Not really, actually. Come to think of it. We're probably going to have to use some flask at the moment. We don't have much... Oh, already. We don't have much... HP. There is a scroll over there that I've managed to miss. <laughs> Teleporter is just along a straight line, because... Why not? Doing a stab and then a roll. A stamp and then a roll. That's grand. Give me some HP. 60%. Fair enough. Give me some more equipment. I'm not ready for the ancient sewers yet. Or HP is also fine. Oop. There's some more equipment. Is this just a better one? No, it's a worse one. So we'll... Is this a better one? Oh no, wait. Is this a better one? No. <laughs> no. That was good enough. Get out of my face. Don't, don't step to me with this substandard merch. Is this better? No. Maybe. Nah. It's the wrong, wrong flavour. Nah. <clears throat> In, the flammable sword is situationally good, and we are slowly unlocking the fire grenade, which might make it... Well, might bring us that situation, but... There we go. Prefer the amethyst to not having the amethyst. See, when they come at me one at a time, like in a fighting movie, like, I can deal with this, you know? Come at me, bro, but one at a time, please. Like a form an ordinary queue. You come, I punch you. You turn up, I punch you. But when they are all coming at me en masse, I'm going... Too much. Uh, I need to be up there because I can't jump high enough. There we go. I am, everything I'm doing now is purely like lesser activities. I don't need to do any of these explorations. And yeah, here I am <laughs> doing them. Uh, maybe I did need to. Depends on scenic. A better barnacle. Barnacle three is probably worse than a barnacle two plus. That's correct. So I think a plus just gives it two, two levels, which is very much worth the price you pay for it. Also, more of these still down here. We've, we know about this door. I don't think you find anything in it. It's a long way back. There we go. Filling the world with dead air. Going for... Uh, maybe we should have gone for tactics in that one. I went for the HP because I was kind of in the same mindset that I was before when I was you know, playing the previous run where everything was survival, and survival was the correct thing to take. 
but it's not now. Ah, I'm at, it's in my head. Don't, don't come out. Sanctuary. Nice. The cells do help, so I'm glad that I'm still attacking everything. I'm glad that they're sort of falling apart reasonably quickly. I'm wondering if we're sort of at the right balance of... <laughs> at the right balance of... Oh. Power, so to speak. And just stop taking scrolls. Start upgrading equipment. It'd be nice if we could upgrade equipment beyond what we have been. I realise I've come this far, but I don't think I can get up there. So I don't actually know... Oh, there's another scroll of power down there. Let's just use this and go and get that. He's, uh, should we stop taking scrolls, he says. Taking another scroll. That was interesting. Did exactly what I wanted to do. Which is so rare, it's worth noting. Um, I guess... Brute. It's doing well for us. Of course, we don't have to hit things from behind, mind you. We can just sort of shoot them from the front instead. I just think that swinging the sword is a faster attack than swinging the bow. Or shooting the bow. So... That's what I've been doing. How... I don't even know how you would get up there, let alone... Oh, I see. Can we get through there? Just cotton pick a minute. Yeah, we can. Found it. Glad I didn't leave then, because... That was annoying. Uh, is this better? Yes. Is that strictly necessary? <laughs> Stop dropping things right next to the thing. And then using the wrong one. It does say RB use, I should know what. I pressed the button. <laughs> Look. We've all had a long day. Let's just relax. And take the furthest teleporter that we can. You can go... Wait, what? Oh, this one. This one. Wow. Well read of the map. Good on you for being good at reading a two-dimensional map in a two-dimensional world. Ta-da! Right. What do you got for me? What do you got? Mm, I don't know if we need that. I'm going to put more cells into this. And actually take it, maybe? Because we are inflicting, afflicting bleeding onto things. Right? We do have a... yeah. Although, we're not really doing it hugely actively. I want to upgrade to plus quality without reforging modifiers, which I think is a fairly decent um, balance that they've made there. We didn't actually use any of the flask. Now I realise. So I did think we ate a couple of kebab balls, but... Um... I think... But we also fought an elite. Up close. You know? I, I used my ice grenade, like, correctly. It was not like I stood there and just reflected some shots back at it, like, like a coward would. Who would do a thing like that? What are you talking about? Fair enough. So if we're in front of an enemy, we shoot it. And if we're behind an enemy, we hit it. What could possibly go wrong? Apart from the fact that if you're in front of an enemy, and it's got a shield, you can't shoot it. So do remember that. <laughs> Where do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Who do you think you are? Nice, there's a kebab. That's what we like to see because, of course, we take a lot of damage on these pesky boys. Do you have a back? I don't think you do. Another kebab. Unless it's the same kebab and we're in some sort of non Euclidean Escher esque world of hurt. Help. Didn't expect that. So I didn't react to it correctly, which is not the way you should be playing a game. You should be reacting to things irrespective of whether you expected it or not. But that should have all been one fluid movement, but I got a little bit spooked by the fact that it was a uh, um, 
uh, fall away platform. I had plenty of time. I just didn't know that. You know what? Just use the skills, man. That's what they're for. I think maybe um, multiple grenades might help us in this one. So what we should do is go for a grenade heavy run and pick up the mutation that helps with that. If nothing else, it's because we are taking um, the... That's scary ass. Nice. Uh, it's because we're taking the red path anyway, so we want to be able to make the most of that by taking mutations that it synergizes with. So. If we can find another ice grenade or some other similarly amazing grenade. Run. That was all correct, in my opinion, and you can't take that away from me. Of course I could. I dodged it. What? I think I'm getting the hang of just not, like, panicking and dodging all the damn time. I think that's a large part of this game, is just. Take it easy, you know? Do I want a crusher? Violently crushes any enemies coming in there. Anyway. I kind of do. But the uh, barnacle's been so good. This doesn't give me a DPS, so I don't know how often it stomps. And also it's... Nah. The reason not is that the, the cooldown is so much worse. <laughs> Basically. And we're not using... We haven't got the mutation that assists us with it. Um, I don't... No, I don't need it. So... I'm not going to do it. Uh, I feel like I'm I'm growing up in my decisions in this game, but we're getting better decisions. You know, the not that we're making better decisions, we're being given higher quality choices in the first place as we get through it. Okay, I mean, the decision to fall on spikes a lot is probably one that I could work on. There's nothing is I'm nothing if not introspective. Okay, I mean, I I, I appreciate the opportunity to. Turn the camera inwards and, and see if what I'm doing on the outside is what I want to do on the inside and whether I could improve myself uh, for the betterment of myself and others. Or, at the very least, get better at this game for the betterment of myself and people watching me play this game. Which is also fine. So, yes, maybe do better with platforming part of the game. Don't let the biters bite you. Don't let the bedbugs bite you. Ooh, just enough time. Sometimes I do put myself in a position where I have to finish a manoeuvre before I can attack an enemy, and by that time it's too late. But these... The weapons I've got right now are so swift. It's almost impossible to... Oh, didn't realise. My mistake. Help. Um, especially if they manage to stun. It's, it's impossible to have enough... Or not enough time to do all the damage that you need to do. Run. <laughs> this is not the correct place to be. This is a hard one because, of course, I can't, um, can't run away from that necessarily. Another trick to these I'm noticing is just to be on a small area of land so that you don't have as far to run. Just shoot it. There's no point trying to get behind it. You've got crits in both directions. That hurt. Don't do that. Ah, uh, no. Didn't expect that. That wasn't funny. I went up there to heal, and there was a... Talk to me about how you can hide a scorpion in a pipe. <laughs> By the way. Also, our weapons are swift enough that that's not a problem either. The explodey things. We can usually hit them. In fact, we're swift enough that we can climb up on a ledge and still swing our sword fast enough to hit an explodey thing before it does so. Which is interesting, because if it's about to explode, I would expect that introducing a, a sudden shock like that is likely to you know, be the worst for me, <laughs> rather than it. At some point, we'll probably go for survival just to keep our HP on the go. HP on the run. HP on the run. I'm not doing shields today, so... Leave it alone. I'm ignoring that um, 
mushroom just for now. That's you just have to go for it at some point. Get there on time. It's the timing. It's all about the timing. We have enough uh, scrolls now that I think this is worthwhile. I was expecting that to be a bit of lore there, but it didn't say RB inspect, so I didn't RB inspect it. Anything up here that is worth doing? Maybe stabbing this thing so it kills us. Nice. Appreciate that we get the opportunity to own everything with one swing of the sword as well. Like it's not like we have to attack all the different things individually. Like one swing of the sword hits everything that is within range of that sword. Swing! Sometimes I think there is an auto-aim. There may well be an auto-aim. Can somebody tell me if there is an auto-aim? Because I think I do tend to come a cropper of it. Uh, and I think that was one of them, because I tried to swing at the splody bat, and what actually happened was I swung at the scorpion, which was not nearly as much of a threat. Uh, but the scorpion was attacking me, so I considered it a threat, and therefore I dodged out of the way of it, and then the scorpion got me. No, the back off, because it's exploded. Ow. Don't forget we've got two kebabs left and one heal, so we don't need to panic just yet. In fact, we so don't need to panic that I'm actually going to explore more of this floor rather than chicken out and run away, which is what I did last time. And see if there's more equipment or more cells for me. I'm just, it's just enough time. There's enough time to do the damage, and it's very thoroughly... I'm pleased by it. I see a blood sword, which could turn out to be better, because that's what we had last time. I'm ready to give it the opportunity to wow me. Uh, but if it doesn't, it's being sold. Straight up. I'm firing it. I think this is the way we didn't go, because we were scared of the... Did you see that shit? Oh, I see. We're scared of the mushroom, which, by the way, was attacking us when we arrived. <laughs> so I didn't really have that much opportunity to avoid it. It's just—it's not nearly as much DPS when you're doing crits with the assassin's blade. That's the trouble. Uh, I think I'm done. Stuff down there. Let's have a look. Why not have a look? A bit rude of the mushroom to be stabbing the ground right there. Don't you think? There might be like an elite or something over here guarding who cares what. Or just another exit. I thought I was behind it. I was wrong. I understand. It's okay. Can't be right all the time. It's nice having a close range bow like that. Because something that doesn't do damage. Ooh, ha ha ha. Something that doesn't do uh, extra damage when the thing doesn't have a back to stab. I have another one that does extra damage, which is not as good, but is considerably better than just not doing it at all. Hey, here's that get good place. Where's it on the wall? Get good! It's just some sort of incantation. We put a gun under for a while. Thank you for all the stuff. Is this better? It's a three, which is not as good. I don't think we have anything that's doing burning damage. So we press this. And we play with it, and things change. Something's changed. I wonder if more changes than just... Because last time I did it, uh, a zombie appeared over here. Or something. Okay. I don't know where it would appear. So I don't know what changes when you do that. But you kill a zombie somewhere, and it gives you a mega ton of cells. I was not appreciate the fact that that didn't just stay and kill me. I also appreciate the fact that that thing chose to uh, get stunned. Oh. Fair enough. What have we got? A better infantry bow. Is it? Same crits and we get worms. But like we can just sell this one. <laughs> we can't sell the other one. They do the same damage, and buyers are okay, but I kind of prefer the full health thing. It means we get good to begin with. Now, where's this flipping... How do you find the thing that changed? That's my question. Because last time, there was just a zombie there, and it was full of cells, and it was amazing. 
So now I'm thinking, what? What can we look for? Or do we just leave? <laughs> There's more over here. I'm going to explore this entire floor and you can't stop me. Later when we get really good at the game, we don't need that. We'll have not necessarily shorter episodes, but we'll be getting further in each one anyway, so... I, I see a, a rune. Where did it go? There. We've done that one. There's a shop there. There's probably something over... Wait, did I just teleport to where I was? No, I wanted to stay where I was. I didn't mean to do that. I got confused by the nature of the line. I wanted to go over here. Have a look up here. See if anything changed over here. Because there was a big straight line that I didn't go down before. And of course there's a thing in it that would have made that a lot more easy if I'd done it in the past. But I chose not to. Nice. Sometimes just stomping on stuff is hugely satisfying. <laughs> and it's the best way to go. I like that... I don't know what causes stuns. I've still yet to learn that. But I appreciate that they do happen sort of when I really need them to a lot of the time. Help. Forgot that I had that. <laughs> Next time I say help, just remind me to just press that button. I haven't even used the skills again because the sword's so good, which is you know, very counteractive to good play because you get kind of used to it, you know? Just die. <laughs> Here's the final. This was a scary place, which went slightly wrong, but... It, w it wasn't that bad. You know, we've handled a lot worse very recently. The fact that we still had enough of our flask to survive it was telling. There was nothing over there. There's something there that I don't know how to get into. Oh, I see a thing. Right, okay. Um, this way? I will explore everything. I want to know what changed, because I know there's a lot of cells available if you get it right. Well, I don't know that, but I believe that. I think that's the way that works. Ah! Where did you come from? See, I wait for them both to attack, and then... Why do you keep lagging out, by the way? What's with the frame rate nonsense? It's no fun. don't appreciate it. Is it better? No, it's exactly the same as the other one that we didn't want. Thank you for trying. Alright, let's leave. I've had enough of this place. I keep exploring and finding stuff. Let me let me go to that one, please. Oh my god, how big is this place? Yeah. Let's went. Um, oh, I do wish that we'd managed to find another grenade, because it would have been... It would have just done more damage, because that's what we're using... It's red, basically. The grenades are red. Um, however, having a barnacle on the insufferable crypt is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. I could unlock a grenade, but I don't know if that's the best. I uh, You know what? Yes, let's. Let's do exactly that. And then we'll put some more money into... <clears throat> oh, we've already got sadism, so that's okay. Uh... That seems good. I think you have to use it. We've got a lot of damage and more damage to a bleeding target. So these two sort of uh, synergize with one another, but it's one of those victims one, right? So the upon thawing the... Ooh. So I could throw this, hit it, and then throw this and it will be bleeding. This is our original dagger, by the way. We have still not found anything better. We haven't found anything at all, let alone anything better. Uh, so, <laughs> multiple cooldown time on grenades is uh, grand right here. And we will fill this flask up. We'll keep pressing the flask button to fill the flask up. We'll see if we can get through this enemy in this episode, and if not, that's a good time for an episode, in my opinion. Wake up. Let me in. Conjunctivius, yeah, conjunctivius, not conjunctivitis, although I feel like conjunctivitis was a better name. This is not a good start. So I'm going to throw this at you. I'm going to go over here and hit you. I'm going to throw this at 
Sorry, that are you? That's not good. I can't do anything about that. Throw this at you, hit you, and then you start doing this. That's not funny. Missed. This is a point where we kind of probably wish that we'd had... Oh, I'm glad that we have the infantry bow for this, actually. Because we can still crit these things. Missed. Let's get the ammo out. Give me the ammo back. Oh, they have backs anyway. Perfect. It's that bit. I think it's the coloured bit rather than the sticky bit. Nice. Yes. More of this. We should probably be using the ice grenade. You know, it... <laughs> missed. <laughs> Great water. Uh, simply because we can hit things in the back if they're frozen. Ow. I'm going to do your uh, aimed attack. That would be grand. So a powerful grenade is being used for powerful stuff right now. I'm just doing single shots every now and then against the using the grenades. The cooldown time on the grenades is stupendous now that we've uh, picked up the thing that does it. I keep forgetting to hit it before I um, chuck the grenade at it, unfortunately. We can also... Maybe we shouldn't be hitting it, but we should be stabbing it. Let's do this. Shoot it, throw that at it, and then <laughs> hide. Because we get the crit from that. Yeah, that's much better. That makes sense. It's going to be a bit of a methodical fight. Ow. That's okay. That's okay. I can't move. <laughs> the pause that you get when you take damage really throws me off my game. Literally, in as much as... Um... It, I can't dodge anymore. I need to stop letting these things group up. Just start stamping instead. <laughs> there you go. I rolled towards it. I didn't know it was going to be there. See, I saw that one go. I was expecting it. Yeah, come on then. Starting to get the hang of this pattern. That's the difficult part. Pattern this. Oh, I can't roll again. It's okay. We've still got one more Esther the Splask to use. Just keep doing that. Whatever. <laughs> Bring it on. Just don't do the thing that I can't deal with. Okay. Ammo. Ammo stuck in this enemy. Give me ammo. We can just punch it. That should make the uh, ammo fall out of it again. I, I I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I have no um I have no no defense against that particular attack. So I don't really know how to deal with it. One more round of the nonsense, please. The tentacle nonsense, it's not the scary nonsense that I can't deal with. We just like entice them to pop up. Can we do that? Stuck in that one, huh? Wait, you are not the one that went in. Why are you all different colours? Just gonna stab it. <laughs> I figure that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Ow. Didn't uh, see the exclamation mark? That was on me. I understand the principle, I just didn't see the goal. Oh, here we go. Oh, you were ready for me, were you? Stop that. Stop that right now. You're making me sad that I'm not managing this to uh, a sufficient degree. Right, answer me. At least I can cope with one. I can see what it's doing. Don't nice. Let's get this on you. 
do some significant amount of damage. These crits are really helping, if I'm being honest. That wasn't very good. Whoa, I dodged it. Ho oh, ho Yeah, try me. Oh, you moved. Don't remember uh, authorizing the move in there. I can't, I can't figure it out. I don't understand. It doesn't. It, it, uh, there does not appear to be a way of dealing with that, in my humble opinion. But uh, feel free to give me some tips you know, in the comments. Super into that. Ow! Oh no, not the time. Help! Uh -oh. Damn it, missed. Oh, come on. Come on. You got nothing left. Bring it on. Uh oh. You can skirmish all day, my dude. Can done it! <laughs> Apologies for my French, but that is worth it. Although this may be a Belgian game. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Make it stop. What have we got? A wolf trap. Oh. <laughs> okay, colourless. That's good because it means that we can continue to put things in red. I didn't really like this. Um, I, I'm sorry, I just <laughs> having so much trouble. I think we'll do better next time to, I mean, I very think we're very likely to do better next time because we've already done better this time. So, you know, we we improve. We got the hang of it. And I think our loadout oh, really did help in that situation. Uh, you are a later thing. <laughs> a very much later thing. Um, I don't know. Fill this one up. Start working towards maybe the third level of health flask. I don't need you. I don't think I need to reset my mutations either, to be honest. The only thing that we don't benefit from for this um, this trap is that we don't get the benefit of the cooldown from... It's a 14 second cooldown as opposed to, a, I guess, a 7 second cooldown, 8 second cooldown that we had on the grenade because we have the cooldown benefit for grenades. I really need to walk around a bit because my legs are killing me. So uh, when we inevitably die in here very soon, that'll be enough recording for this day. And of course, I do record quite a lot up front anyway, so um, I, I, I've already got the... Uh, there's currently one episode that I haven't even uploaded before I start recording these ones, so... Um, any advice you gave me about that episode, I already haven't read it. Thank you for just doing that in a correct order. I appreciate um, poison as well. I do like damage over time. Basically, a lot of the time when I can just leave something behind. Uh, and, and it'll die anyway. I'm, I'm into that. I would very much like to replace this sword with something that is more appropriate to the level. And we're really going to have to start relying on the uh, grenades with the better cooldown. But... Help. It's okay. Um, <laughs> we're not doing enough damage to, uh, to, to keep up right now, in my opinion. That was bad. <laughs> we didn't want to do that. But we're looking for the elite on this level. This is the one that lets us climb walls. I'm aware of that at least. Keep stabbing that. I like that if we let something die in the wolf trap and then follow it, we um anything that jumps towards us is gonna be in for a bad time, you know? Good, 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 good. Oh, I think we take survival here simply because we can. <laughs> Uh, we have no value in taking purple, basically, and uh, 
we don't have any survival mutations or anything like that. Okie dokie. We have two two charges on our heel. This is basically the best it's ever going to be. Ow. Why? Ow. Just don't let the bastards grind you down. Stop running away from me, you absolute jeb end. I haven't said that since Pete was playing Isaac with me. So much of a deuce you are. I don't know how to do this, quite honestly. I think we just keep going until it's not a problem. Yes, 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 yes. He's done it. Spider rune. This has been an amazing episode. I'm so excited about this episode. Thank you for watching already. I hope that you're still sticking with me because... <laughs> Whoa! And I... What? Well, this is what it turns everything around. I didn't find the thing that changed, by the way, in the other... In the other Dujimadar, which made me a bit sad. Also, there's nowhere else to go except for this one. Um, you know the... You know it says something changed. I don't know what you're even protect. Oh gosh. Presumably, you weren't supposed to. Um, I'm just saying. <laughs> Again, that was a best laid plan sort of job just now because I thought that I was going to be fighting something stuck in the trap, but it went do do, and then it was like. Did I pick something up in Hexen, or is this the end of the game? <laughs> um, it wasn't the end of the world completely, but it, it, it was close. Powerful Grenade 5. I don't know. I think grenades might be better for us, but we need to find the right one. I'd like to be able to sort of carry one in a backpack, improve it later. And then sort of see if it's any good for us in reality. Die. Um, because, like, we could just sort of reforge it until it was good, right? Hmm. Actually, that might not be the worst idea. Give me the kebab. Perfect. We've used both of our flasks, but we have a permanent upgrade in the form of the, uh, run in the form of the, um, spider rune, so... It's not that bad right now. I'm glad that we can fire as fast as they approached us as well. Um, and honestly, if we found a way out, I'm going to take it. I'm out of here immediately. We're still using our level essentially three sword, and it's only level three because we upgraded it. So everything is still bad and horrible and wrong, and this is going to kill me. So thanks for watching. <laughs> You can't kill me because you've only got these. And they don't hurt me until they explode. So I can just sort of do that. Run! <laughs> nice. He's done it! This is enough! Okay, game, I can't. Oh my gosh, I can't take this level of... of ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that amulet. It seems like an upgrade to me anyway. You may disagree. But, um... Yeah, two heads are better than one here. Is this another one? I've passed by it dozens of times, but I've never wondered what the viscous liquid in the walls was. Hmm. It's pretty, but it sort of stinks. That's just the wall. Research notebook. All the sap flowing through these stones. I have to collect as much as possible and find a solution. Nothing special here? No. This is an odd place because it doesn't seem to have the same um, same sort of, not necessarily lore, but it's, it's not the same style. It's completely, it's much more almost technological. It's weird. Whereas everywhere else is just broken to all heck. I f you must remember that I can do this, by the way. Yep, thought that might happen. <laughs> 
But what are you supposed to do? You know? If I went down that... Oh, God. How? <laughs> nah, I'd rather have the burn. 2,000 cells. Didn't even mean to open that door. I didn't realise. Uh, no. No. No, I'm good. I don't know if I'm doing well if I just got lucky with this um, this loadout. But I, if you don't mind, I'm going to just sort of assume it's me doing well. Uh, we can leave. <laughs> so I'm going to. I didn't even know there was an elite there, and I didn't know that I could leave. Uh, should I try and eat that kebab? The kebab is gone. Very well. Then let's just go. I think we can get out without taking too much damage. Yeah, just go to the clock tower. <laughs> I mean, gosh. Nope. Doesn't smell better here than anywhere else. Wow. The clock tower I have done before without any help. So I have got more than enough help right now. I, I really wish that I could like justify replacing <laughs> my... Um, I wish I could justify replacing any of my kit right now. Oh, I didn't go back for the grenade. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, I'm going to put some money into this because we do want to start playing the shield meta if we can do it. What have you got for me? Nothing's giving me like 100% damage, is it? Why, are, why am I still using these? Let's just leave. I don't want to do anything. I'm actually happy with this loadout. I'm kind of hoping that Jen doesn't suddenly phone me and say that I need picking up halfway through the episode. She needs me to pick her up halfway through an episode because... It's five o'clock, and I don't know if she's coming back. Ooh. Oh. Alright. Frozen target. I'm actually quite happy with this, uh... Oops. Um. Why are you no climb wall? Uh, I'm quite happy with the wolf trap, because it's actually been really useful to me, because... All of those golems that I fought in the previous one, I would have had no chance against if I had been, uh, if they had been able to turn around. Why? Oh, I'm doing that. Am I doing that? Uh, I think those were baddie grenades, and yet I managed to avoid taking considerable damage. Whoa! Leave me alone. Yeah, that wasn't so good. Uh, there were too many explodey things in between me and what I was trying to do, which was kill the baddies. That was good. I didn't mean to do that, but it did work. So I did mean to do it. What are you talking about? Who said that? Who said I didn't mean to? That's just rude. We know now, at least. <laughs> First of all, activate these. Secondly, we don't have to do the bell thing. I think I've done the bell thing before. Um, by accident. And I think it's just a bonus, honestly. Not a necessary endeavour. Okay. Oh, sorry, when, when things hurt me, I, they take damage. I do poison. Yeah, so. <clears throat> we just need to find a key, get to the clock room, and scum our way out of this, like we have done with everything else. Yeah, that's a baddie grenade. <laughs> Don't let it hit you, turns out. Um, right, well, good, okay. At least we know what we're doing. Let's put more brutality, because our weapon is very much, um, not keeping up. But we've got two weapons that brutality helps with, so we shouldn't have any excuse. I would like this thing to stop attacking me with grenades while I'm trying to do melee damage. I guess that's probably the most annoying thing that I have to deal with right now in this game. It's therefore something I should really be learning to not do. Um, nah. Anything up there? There's more up. Let's see what's up. I don't want to miss a key by not exploring. Oh, this is the way to use the key. This is a tall level. 
Right, right. Stop getting it wrong and it won't be a problem for you. I like that I can just get it right most of the time. These things chucking grenades next to each other is extremely annoying. It doesn't really give me the opportunity to attack anything. <laughs> brutality or survival? I guess we go brutality because our DPS seems to be... I don't want to say more important, but it's certainly helping more. Because... I will always say that killing things is more important than being able to be hit by them. A letter. A letter on the desk. Maybe this desk belongs to the Guardian of this tower? Hey, one, blah, 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 blah. Contaminated, executed. Executed and contaminated. There's nothing here, is there? Nah, it's just law. We've been in there before. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Go flip yourself. This is what we need. That is not the correct way, though. I keep trying this thing where <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to roll in the correct direction, and it doesn't work. That's the bell type. So that's the one that the bells provide for you, uh, which I don't have. So let's go into this other tower. One of them is just going to have a door in it, and then we're going to open the door. So just let me find that, and I'll be happy with Larry. don't appreciate that I have to use this trap so often. Because it's got quite a long cooldown. And now I need to wait for the cooldown to get the... Uh... Um, what am I saying? The, the grenade as well. Yeah. Basically there's going to be a lot of crowd control in this game. I didn't actually throw that. I thought I did and I was upset that I did it wrong. I didn't actually throw it in the first place so that's a good one. The, uh, the infantry bow is turning out to be exceptionally useful as it happens. Um, ow! I actually didn't think I was in range of you. Mostly because, and now I need HP, um, I should take tactics if I want HP, huh? Uh, mostly because there's a lot of situations where I just can't get behind an enemy because there's something else there <laughs> trying to hurt me more. I was like, stop. Stop hurting me so much. Most of the Let's um, try this one. Also, I can shoot these things within range and they can't get me with their grenade machigas. So now we at least have the spider room. So if this all goes south, I'm not necessarily... I mean, the enemies that I've beaten today, I don't know if they're harder than the clock tower boss, the watchmaker, the clock reader, whatever his name is. How tall is this? Um, I'm going to get 40% HP for sure, this thing. But... I, I'm feeling like I'm doing well today, and I think that's an important uh, feeling in order to continue to do well. So, you know, well begets well in this situation. Also, it's really difficult to get behind an enemy, you just don't have to. Come on then. Like that one. Run. No, this is bad. This is very bad. <laughs> I don't want you to be here. Ow! I can't do it. I'm gonna die because I can't actually attack him. Sufficiently. I haven't got any ammo. Oh, he's done it. Now I just have no way of healing. But that's okay. Help. <laughs> I would be very grateful for random kebab or something right now, but I think we might not make it. No! <sighs> Blimey. 
And we're not doing too well all of a sudden, which is kind of pesky. Because I was doing really well, but I'm having really, I'm having real trouble with the crowd control in this particular level. So I guess that's just the way it goes. You can't <laughs> different uh, different setups work differently for different levels. This is not appropriate because I've just done all of this. There's just nothing here except that elite. I don't even want the ooh. I don't even want the um, amulet that I got, which is sounding insult to injury in my opinion. But there you go. Let's go back to try this one. If we don't make it, we don't make it. It's been a really good episode already. We've done a lot with what we had. We're still using, by the way, our first floor weapons. Both of them. Not just one of them. Both of them. <laughs> and we're just doing a stupendous amount of damage with them. So, yeah, I didn't even see that coming. Well, I mean, I saw the death coming, but I didn't see that attack coming. So, thank you for watching. I think I did really well in this episode, even though I didn't get as far as I could have. But considering that I was doing the whole thing using just my oh, starting weaponry, I... Oh, gosh. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you will leave a like and a comment to give me some tips. And uh, that you will share it with your friends. And I hope that you will join me in the next episode. But until then, I'll see you.